heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact, I blast tasteful bars and pass, I back up my actions, fact, don't ask, grab reactions, jack, attack with every word, then act with class, as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new so for excuse, I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace now, you're dead to me, so peace out, remember you're discreet now, get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Q Show here, and now, whenever we last left off with this series, we had Deku, and well, after three years of being in Tartarus prison, he was broken up by Todoroki and the former members of Class 1A. Now, Deku, he did just talk with Redestro. Redestro, he has a force of members for the Meta Liberation Army over one million. And counting. Now, Deku, he learned the exact number. Their forces are almost at 1.3 million. If not closer to 1.4 or even 1.5. Since around that number, things do get iffy with, well, verification. Now, Redestro, he's not at all concerned. Deku, he's playing on Redestro's insanity, if you don't want to put it in a way. The way he blindly believes in prophecies and fantasy. He believes that the new world, it will be born one day. If they feel here, other people will rise to take their spot. And Deku played off of that. Deku called himself a phoenix rising from the ashes of the old. He proclaimed himself to be an omen. He has wings like a bird, wings like a phoenix. And he will help to bring forth this new world. Aridestro gave him a task. Deku can lead the Meta Liberation Army. If he can take out either the main factory or five Nomu factories that have been a problem in their side. Now, Deku, yeah, he liked this idea. And it's actually been two weeks since that conversation. And this amount of time, Deku, he's been getting used to everything. He's gone out in public. He's even tried looking into everything. And around this time it's been broadcasted that Izuku Takami has broken out of Tartarus prison. Now, it was very insane to them. He got out. How did that guy escape? Now, heroes and everybody alike were just sort of in awe. And we actually do have All for One, where whenever he did hear this news, he was very intrigued by it. And we actually will cut back over to Deku, where he's actually learned the location of a Nomu factory, thanks to pro heroes within the organization. Now, we do have where Deku, he's assembled his team. Right now, they don't have a lot going. However, they do have plenty of special individuals with them. Now, this team is very small, but it is composed of Deku, Todoroki, Momo, and Denki. As Deku, he does want these four or these three with him for the first factory. Now, Deku, he's already given Momo a small list of things she doesn't need to create. And she does currently have a backpack with them. As they do all leave, and Deku is currently flying all of them over the city. Now, everybody, they're kind of intrigued. Since Deku, as he's flying, he's actually moving at higher speeds. And they're actually some of people to ask Deku about that. 
And Deku, he does sort of explain. With more physical exercise that he's been doing, he's increased the muscles in his back. Along with that, there's the fact that his wingspan has grown larger. So, taking these into consideration, it isn't a surprise he's gotten faster. Along with that, there is the fact that he hasn't flown in a long time. So, spreading his wings and flying, he's got a lot of adrenaline pumping through his body. So, he's just really, really pumped up. Now, we actually have where Deku, he does actually land at a factory. As he does so, everybody does get there. And we actually have where Denki, he does look around. Him actually going to grab a few metal wires that are running alongside the building. As he does go to zap electricity to them, and the metal actually does start to bend and move open. As Denki, he does reach down and set voltage throughout the entire factory. The lights are merely popping and moving out. Now, Deku is kind of surprised looking at that, asking Denki what did he just do. Hmm? Oh, uh, it's a trick. It's sort of difficult but easy to explain. Now, Denki does pull back his hand, as he does talk about how what he just did was overload the system, and all the security cameras might as well have just exploded along with even the grid the system was on. Oh. Neat. Anyways, uh... Hmm. This is the place, from what the heroes have told us. So... Momo, you have the bag? Of course. Okay. Let's see. The C4 needs to go over there. And then some of it needs to go over there, and, uh... Hmm. I can head inside. Then everything could, should be a lot easier. Now, we actually have where Deku, he does go walking over to a door. As he does go to expand his wings and go to actually pull a feather as it does elongate into a sword. Before Deku, he does directly go to stab it in, inwards through the middle door and cut it open. Deku staggering from the top left and then cutting around where the lock would be. As Deku just does push the door open and go to actually reach out and grab the piece of the door as he does just pull the lock out before dropping it to the ground. Hmm. Okay. Deku walking downstairs with the backpack. As when he does walk down, he does see no moves in tanks. Deku just going to walk throughout the entire area and set down various things. As Deku does set up something on the console, and then actually go to set something up around the area for the tanks. As Deku, he does try to count everything here. This area. Hmm. It's a small factory. This doesn't look small at all. On the second floor, you could probably produce a hundred Nomo, but down here? Shit. Maybe more. There was another staircase, but... Hmm. No, that's not a good idea. Let's see. Power has already been cut with the emergency power on in here. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I could head downstairs and see if there's anything down there. Deku, he, him actually walking back over the staircase. As he does still at least have a larger bomb left in his bag. Deku walking down the third set of stairs as he does come to a door. Him looking through it and actually seeing a razor slab with a table on the side. And Deku, he does just sort of wonder. That's not good. Okay. Hmm. The explosion will bring down the roof to this room. However, I'm not too sure. Everything else will be destroyed. The Noma will be incinerated while they're being made. And then this one. This room here. I got a bad feeling about it. Deku just going to set down the backpack. Well, okay. Can't do much about that. My gut tells me I should investigate, but I don't want to set anything off. Now. Deku, he did just turn around and walk back up the staircase. As whenever he does get back up to the roof, every way they do quickly leave. Before Deku, he does set off a detonator. 
Now, the factory, it does explode and collapse. As the building next to it, and the one next to that one as well, it also does go up in flames. And Deku, yeah, he's very impressed. He didn't expect that big of a boom. And he does just talk about how Momo, she did pretty well on those. Thanks. It's a fairly strong mix. I noticed. What was in those? I can't tell you. Why not? Because the mix is unstable. I have to create it. You can't really put it together by hand. I'm not even going to try to understand that. Eh. What can I say? Anyways. What about the next one? Hmm. Let's see. How much food did you bring? I brought a fairly good margin. So we could probably nail down two more factories. Maybe. But even then, this one could put us on all for one's radar. I'd say we just sort of stay underground for a minute. Are you sure? Izuku, we could push. The Everything that was in there electronically was fried. Trust me. We can push now and get this all done in one night. And... Hey, I mean, we could even try for the large factory, you know? Y yeah, about that one. Your parents are there, I know. Hmm? I, I didn't even... Redesto informed us. We all knew the risk when we signed on. So that's what we're doing. Besides, I mean, you being the leader, I can see it. Th thanks, Denki. But that just felt way too easy. I mean, you know? Now, Momo, she actually would speak up. I think I know why that is. What? Well, some of Off One's factories, they're automated. Or at least semi. If security measures do get set off, what usually happens is a Nomu will be ejected from a specialized place. We don't know. We think they're security guards. If most automated security doesn't work or it fails, those things, they usually will get sent out. However, on emergency power, they malfunction. Most heroes have seen that problem. In fact, I think that is what may have happened here. Even then, within about the hour or so once this, if the factory was still standing, villains would be on their way. Check up on everything and usually that would be it. However, they're also very dangerous villains. What do you mean? Well, some of Off One's factories, they're semi-automated. Villains, they have to come in and check on, on everything. Release the Nomu and get them sent somewhere. I think that's how this one was. We may encounter some resistance tonight. However, that would be because of All for One's generals. They'd come to try and stop us. I see, I see. Well then, we still got some time. And we can manage to take out the other two. Now, that's what Deku just say. As the night it would continue on. And by the end of it, they did take down three, let's just say four factories actually. And they do at least have one more to take on. As they all do turn in for the night and head back to their hiding place. As we do have Deku. Now, the night it was pretty interesting. And everybody, they do just spend their time hanging out and sort of partying. Yeah, it's kind of bad out there, but right now, things are good for them. And Deku, they just kind of took out 8% of All One's operation. It's good. It's nice. And, well, if they can control the war from behind the scenes, 
they can slowly take down all for one. With the heroes with their low numbers, they can push off one back. And while all of one's too busy trying to figure out his production, or at least put everything back on track, then they can make their move. Ambush the heroes and villains in the same spots. Now, we actually have everybody where they are at least all drinking something. And there is currently Deku, where he's sitting next to Todoroki. Him with a glass of something in his hand, and at least turning to look at her, asking her if she's okay. I'm fine. You're not going to have a drink? Oh, um, no, I think I'm okay. Huh? She's quiet. Got something on your mind? Huh? Oh. Yeah, I sort of do. It's, um, a lot. Hmm. What is it? Well, um... Like I said, it's a lot. You know how we thought my brother Toyo was dead? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I remember you mentioning him. You told me about him before. Well, he's alive. What? That's, that's good. Have you, he's a villain. What? Dobby. Have you heard of him? Dobby. Hmm. That's one of the guys I've heard about. Ray Destro gave me a file. Dobby is one of the main men to worry about. And then there's our fall guy, or not really our fall guy, but our guy on the inside. Mineta. Mineta is listed on the folder as very dangerous. In fact, it's kind of a surprise he's still on our side. But Dobby? That guy's Toya Todoroki? The black hair. It always seemed out of place. The look on him. Blue flames. A prodigy child, maybe? That could be it. Hmm. Maybe. But even then... You're... I'm... I'm sorry. D don't be. I mean, well, he's, um, a villain. I mean, my father hasn't really said anything about it. And he hasn't even tried releasing a statement. He released many trying to talk to me, but, or even trying to get me to surrender. But, uh, he stopped. He stopped trying after this news came to light. Honestly, um, it's kind of all messed up. Yeah, I can see why. Now, everybody, they do sort of pause for a minute. This is all kind of messed up. And the party does somewhat end. As we do have the next morning. Where Deku, he actually is approached by Redestro very early. Redestro knocking on his door, and Deku, him answering it. Hello? Young Takami. I believe there is a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. What is it? Now, this is where Redestro, he does bring up something as he does hold it out to Deku. Deku just grabbing the phone and looking at this. As Deku, he does just pause or unpause the video and hear what all of one has had to say. Now, Deku, he does watch. As all for one, he does talk about how last night, four of his factories were destroyed and that he believes He's aware of who may have d did it. And that's currently, he has agents out looking for some individuals. This individual might have an interest in. Now, 
Deku, he's kind of confused from it, but he does pay attention, pay attention to that phrase. Individuals that he's interested in? Concerned about? Wait a minute. Now, this is where all for one he does point it out. He's putting a bounty on the Takami sisters. And he's going to even offer quirks to the people who do bring them in. He will give them whatever power he has. And if it does so mean it, if they do bring him their heads, he will put in a bonus. He will give them powers they do not believe exist. Now, Deku, he can tell that off one he's lying through his teeth. However, there are people who would truly believe him. And Deku, he immediately does set out. He needs to find out where they are. Him running over to Yayuroji's room. As Deku does pound on the door, and he is kind of surprised whenever somebody else does open it up. Deku freezing as he does see Ida. Uh, hi. Oh, hello. Uh, you're not wearing pants. Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Uh, I see. Uh, can you go get Momo? I, I need to talk to her. Now, the door does close. As Deku, he does think. That guy is a lot less strict than he remembers. Now, after a minute, the door, it does reopen. And Deku, he does see Momo in an outfit. Or at least in some morning clothes. Hi. What do you want? It's early. It's not early. You're just hungover. Anyways, I need your help now. What's so important that all phone put a bounty on my sisters and I need to go find them now? Now, Deku does watch Momo as her eyes, they immediately do shoot open. Okay. Um, well, me and Ida, we're... Yeah, I, I was going to ask about that, but th this is more important. Uh, we're planning to return to the association. We did take a brief hiatus for, well, let's just say, um, issues we've been having. Mm -hmm. I issues? Yeah, they're not too... It's not too big, but the association did sign off on it even though we had to begrudgingly force our way out, basically. It's more or less after faking combat injuries, we were able to take time off for recuperation. So you guys faked injuries? Yeah, sort of, but it was all in order to break you out of prison. Anyways, um, we can return early. We'll try to contact you with the info. I think I may know somebody who is involved with your sisters. And if I can find anything out, I'll talk to you then. However, I can't just do whatever you can. I don't care. Listen to me. They need to stay safe. If Alphamon gets his hands on them, I don't want to know what he does to them. I don't even think about that, okay? That's all I care about. If I have to rip off my own wings to save them, I would. Now, everybody, they do see how... Well, Angry Deku is at this. The idea that his sisters can get caught by Alpha One taken in, it scares him. And Deku, he doesn't even want to imagine. He basically had to raise those two. They're, well, his actual family. But would they even want to see his face again after all this time? What would they say to him? He doesn't know. Would they hate him? Would they want nothing to do with him? It's, well, just too much. He can't think about that. They can hate him all they want, but if he does have them in his possession, if he has them safe, then that's all that really matters right now. And Deku, yeah. Later on to the day, they, these two, they do leave. And Deku, he does actually talk with Todoroki. They can take out the last factory tonight. And then if they do 
want to or need to, they could try heading for all for one's main factory where a thousand nomu are produced every two weeks. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this part and have an amazing night. I'll catch you guys in the next part.